Hi, my name's Brandon, and I've been teaching, and before that, tutoring VC and mathematical methods for over 10 years now. In that time, I've taught and tutored from a Year 10 pre-methods course, all the way through Units 1, 2, and even 3 and 4 for VC and mathematical methods. During that time, I've spent a significant amount of time collating and curating, as well as creating new resources for students and teachers who are studying mathematical methods. So to start off with, I'd like to point out that all of the resources that I'm about to talk to you about are free and have been freely available for some time now. They will continue to be free for many years to come as well. So if we start off with talking about the Units 3 and 4 course for a little bit, I'd just like to run you through some of the resources that are available for students and teachers to use especially now that we're embarking upon a journey of learning and teaching from and at home. So the first resource that's available to students and teachers is a vast library of video solutions for many of the past examination questions from VCAR exams. So these are housed on YouTube, so you can go there by visiting my channel and there'll be links below and in emails that go out with this video. So you can go there and using the playlists, you'll be able to access many of the past examination questions that are available and the video solutions that I've created for them. One thing that makes these video solutions unique is that all of the question is stepped through carefully and extra diagrams and things to help students better understand what was going on in the question. The questions always finish with a brief discussion of any examination report information that is important for students to know in their journey of learning mathematical methods. The next thing I'd like to show you are the student notes that are available in a PDF format for students and teachers to download and use in their classes or while learning at home. These PDFs can be located by going through the website and finding the relevant uh, unit that you're trying to undertake. So, for example, units three and four, if you just scroll down on this page, you'll be able to see the student notes that are available to download from there. These notes have fully worked video solutions to the vast majority of questions that are in them, particularly for the calculus units, which you may be studying at the moment. And all of this is available online for free for you to use. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the worksheets that have been collated and combined from non-VCAR questions from around Australia. So states including Western Australia, Tasmania, South Australia and many others sit exams very similar to the mathematical methods exam that sat in Victoria. So I've spent some time pulling together questions into topic areas and you can see where to view these on the screen behind me. Each of these are in PDF format and there's also a PDF solutions which you can see up there is provided for students to work through these and benefit hopefully from the resources that the other states have as well. In addition to these, I've undertaken two new projects just recently. One is a whiteboard lecture, which involves a slightly different video than the ones that you may have seen previously, or the ones that you'll encounter as the bulk of the content that's on YouTube. These, as you can see, I've put one next to me here, involve me going through a topic on a sheet of glass and it allows me to interact a little bit better with the viewers. So that's one project that I'm embarking upon and you'll be able to see more of that as time progresses. And the second thing that I'm looking into is creating a textbook chapter alternative for these sections that are on the website. So those PDF files are a little bit more advanced than the student notes. They go through questions in a little bit more written detail and have extra questions that you can complete or assign your students to complete. And they'll also be available by going to the relevant part of the website, whichever unit you're looking at, and you can scroll down. For example, the section six one is now available with section seven, eight, nine to be released shortly, and the rest of the content to come within the next year or two. Now, if we quickly look at VCE Mathematical Methods Unit 1 and 2, there's also a large amount of content available for teachers and students who have studied this set of units for mathematical methods. The first thing that I'll point out, just like the 3 4 course, is there are comprehensive student notes that they can fill in using the examples in the books, which all have video examples available for students and teachers to look at before completing the question or to check that they've got the question correct. 
video examples also sometimes have CAS screens or uh, little videos of me showing how to use a CAS calculator to efficiently assist with answering questions and from time to time these animated simulations that are provided in these videos to help students get a better understanding of the maths and the concepts that they're trying to learn. Similar to the Unit 3 and 4 course, there are also a number of worksheets that are available. So these are generally topic by topic based and you can see at the moment on the screen behind me that there are some of the examples up there and where you can find them. So a number of worksheets, as I say, are available for teachers and students to use to get extra practice on the content they're trying to learn. And of course, there are fully work solutions that are available as well. And finally, for the Unit 1 and 2 students and teachers, there's also aligned Desmos activities and other stimulus materials that you may like to use for your classes. And they're housed on the website, as you can see behind me. And then finally, I'd just like to run you through that the Year 10 pre-methods course, as you might like to think about it, is progressively having more and more resources created for it. So at the moment, there's a quadratic functions playlist that you may find useful to use, and more and more will become available on the website and my YouTube channel. So make sure you check back there regularly enough to see what new content there might be to use. And finally, to finish up this video, I'd just like to thank anyone who's watched through to this stage. And I just hope that the resources that I've presented are useful to you as a teacher or useful to you as a student. Of course, if you have any questions or queries about what's on offer or you find any errors in any of the materials that are freely available to you, I'd love to hear from you via email. And you can see that displayed and also in the information below this video. So thanks again for everyone who has watched this video and I hope there's something that can prove useful to you. Good luck for teaching and learning mathematics.